Hey everyone, we're doing the SAT practice level two algebra, and this is number one or part one. The best thing to do is to pause the video, try to answer it, and then uh, move on. There's only three questions here, and so you want to go as fast as you can, and that way you don't have to um, um, just watch me do it. And then if just check my answer real quick, and you can skim through the video a lot faster. So basically, in a question like this, uh, it's basically a matter of just plugging in your C here and then solving. So we have um, B equals square root of 5 over 1 third. And recall, this is like saying square root of 5 divided by, let's see, 1 third which is the same as square root of 5 times 3. So this is B is really uh, 3 square root of 5. And so what are we solving for A? So you just plug in B back into this equation. So you get A equals um, 3 square root of 5 cubed, which equals 27 times 5 square root of 5. Remember, uh, square root of 5 times square root of 5 times square root of 5. So these two equal 5. Then you have that. And then you plug it in the calculator, and you get approximately 301.87. Okay, so the answer is E. All right, next one. This is exponent 1. We're always going to have one of these on actually the level one and level two. So you need to know your basic um, exponent properties. So and they're saying that D, if you multiply D, E, and F, it can equal zero. They have to tell you that because if it did, then you'd have a denominator e, uh, zero, which is undefined. So basically, um, Let's go ahead and take care of the denominator first. And again, you should pause and try to do this on your own, but I'm going to just take care of the denominator. So um, I only put three videos per section or two because I'm going to kind of go over this um, a little slower. So d squared, e cubed squared, f squared. So this, you have to distribute each part. So this equals 4d cubed e to the fourth f squared. And then you have 4 and d squared e to the sixth, that's your power property, and f squared. So right away, you can cancel those two out. So we know it's not going to be A and B. And we can cancel the F's out, which these three don't have F's. So we just have to take care of, oh, we don't have a 2 either. So the only thing we have to take care of is this little bit here. So basically, um, if you want, you can write them out or you can do your properties. But basically, we have three D's on top, four E's on uh, in the numerator. And in the denominator, we have two d's. In the denominator, we have six e's. So then cancel out your d's. We have two to two, and then four cancels out with four here. So there's two e's in the denominator. So we have d over e squared. And um, using your negative exponents, then you can move this guy up, and that would be e to the negative two. So that's D. And the next last one is, um, I'm going to do this both ways. You can use long division and um, or synthetic division. So I'm going to use synthetic division first. And we're basically looking for K here. And we're dividing by uh, G minus 2. So when you use synthetic division, remember you do, um, you set this to 0. And you get g equals 2. So you put 2 here and write down your coefficients. And make sure we don't have to have any placeholders here. 
and k is a constant. So you put the k. Now, or the, you set this up the way your teacher taught you, but um, this is how I do it. You bring down the 4, then you multiply, and our remainder has to be what? 27, and recall that the remainder has to go here. So um, you multiply and you get 8, you add negative 3 plus 8 is 5, and you multiply 2 times 5 and you get 10, and you add and you get 11, 2 times 11 is uh, 22, and so when you're adding, k would have to be what? So k would have to be 5. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do it long division wise in case you're not used to um, that. Um, 22, I'm sorry, K would have to be what? 4. Just looked at my notes. I can't add and subtract because um, 4 plus 22. Wait, wait, wait. We need 27, so what are we doing here? So let's see, 2 times 4 is 8. Um, add 2 times, add 11, you get 22. So there we have that answer. We get we actually get K is 5. Sorry, I was right the first time. So K is 5. Now let's do it the uh, long division way. In the long division way, you're going to get g minus 2, and you divide, you get 4g cubed minus 3g squared plus g plus k. And then you just do a uh, long division. What times g gives you 4g cubed, and this is going to be um, 4g squared. And you multiply this by both, uh, this binomial. So you get 4g cubed minus 8g squared. And then you subtract both pieces. And that will cancel those two and you get 5g squared. Bring down the g. So the next one's going to be plus 5g. And you multiply just to cancel this first term, you get 5g squared minus 10g, and then you subtract, and that gives you 11g. You bring down your k, and then um, the next is going to be plus 11, so that's going to be 11g minus 22. And then go ahead and subtract, and that gives you um, k minus 22. And the question says the remainder has to be 27. So we're going to do um, k minus a negative 22 equals 27. So k equals 5 because we want this remainder to be 27 right there. So okay, it has to be 5 or you can just do it in your in your head. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.